what's up y'all i'm back man i know some of you guys might have seen a um, title so i want to talk about this i've been wanting to talk about this for the longest so i see you know i made a little i made a post on my on my channel story so pretty much i made a post on so if you guys was if you guys were to choose a um 2014 gt500 or a 2003 for Mustang Cobra Terminator so and I seen half a I say half more than half I say more than half like 80% choose the GT500 which is you know and then I say like probably 10 or 15% choose um it was the 03 um term for must for Mustang Terminator so all right so what I want to talk about pretty much all right I'm gonna get to the chase so why I feel like I feel like the four Mustang Terminator is one of the most underrated car because one of the things is like this is a car that's I believe 15, 16 year old or something, or probably a little bit older than that. I'm not no expert this and that. I'm just trying to state my belief and what I feel and stuff like that. So pretty much I see, you know, most people, you know, nowadays I see most people will probably trade it in for like a C8 or for like some kind of you know some kind of 2014 mustang or some a little bit newer mustang and stuff like that which i understand but for me the truth is for me what i want to say is like for me i feel like the biggest one of the biggest reason why i feel like the old three four mustang like the i say old i say like a 2001 to 2003 around that range like the four mustang cobra like why I feel like it's a, such an underrated vehicle because it's like a lot of people, a lot of people, um, a lot of people sleep on that, sleep on that car. And it's a, you know, it's like a 16, 17 year old car. And I feel like some people, I don't know, just some people might feel, I don't know, maybe it could be, maybe it could be because of the year or something like that. They want something newer, but I just feel like for me, honestly, if, if I was to choose or if I was to choose a GT500, 2014 GT500, or um, 2003 four Mustang Terminator Cobra, obviously I'm going to choose a Cobra because I feel like those cars is like very unique to me. And I feel like that year, I, I say from like a 99 to like a 04, around that year, it's like the year where I feel like Mustang really made their marks and stuff like that when they came out with the you know terminator cobra and after that as time go on obviously they came out with newer mustangs and i just feel like the terminator cobra out of all the mustangs that ever been made this is my personal opinion i'm not no expert this and that but you could whatever if, if y'all want to you know you want to leave a comment however you feel go ahead and put put that comment on there i'm not you know i'm not gonna stop you but i'm just giving you my honest opinion but i feel like the from like a i say all right i'm gonna say all right so i'm gonna say i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest i say out of all the mustangs that been made the terminator cobra is like the best one out because one one of my reasons is because i'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the looks so it got it's one of them cars where for an older vehicle it kind of it, it kind of looked like a i said like a newer 2015 model this and that honestly if you if you didn't really sit inside of the car if you were to you know see it and you, you let's say if you a person who really don't know much about cars if you were to if, if you were to see it in person just by looking at how like the, the design of it i said that's one of the one of the one of the things for me that you know grabbed my attention like the front end design like the back end design like the especially the back i like the back so much and overall like pretty much how they design that car ford did like a good job doing it and it's like a 1010 i feel like if i could change anything about it i wouldn't even change anything about it even the stock wheels that come on there too they look good like even the stock wheels that come on there they look good and um you know like a regular you know let's say if you get that one of the things too i feel like a lot of people overlook is you know it's an older car but like it's a car that you could get from factory 
with no mods on there pretty much making like a great amount of power i wouldn't say anything compared to now nowadays where i guess most people think 400 horsepower or something like that pretty much that's like the i think that's like the average you know when you when you if you was if you were to get it stocked you know with nothing done to it pretty much i think it's like 395 3 400 i'll say pretty much 400 i'll say to me but i feel like for most people who if you if you you know if you know about cars and you understand obviously i'm not going to sit here and make it seem like i'm some kind of professional but i feel like one of the things is like if you understand power if you drove a mustang before let's say a gt right a 50 gt if you drove one of those with like not even much probably i say probably like a cold air intake just little bolts on um, bolt on bolt, bolt on uh, mods and stuff like that like bolt on mods and stuff like that if you not really much done to it if you really i'm talking like you really get into it and drive drive the like shit out of it and you really feel that power like you might think 300 well three i, I wouldn't say 300 because i feel like that's that's a little bit below but i say anything 400 and above for a car to have that much horsepower that's a lot of power and that's 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 a good amount of power and the ford mustang i feel like it's coming from factory having 395 i said that's like the exact number but just having that much power imagine years years back when it came out that was like that's like a car that dominate pretty much a lot of a lot of cars out here i say pretty much i'm not just saying it because i'm a mustang guy but that's very true and then one of the biggest thing is i feel like the terminator 2 also they have one of the best sounding exhaust system stock wise i say stock wise it still sound good but if you put a let's say like a um i believe it's a srs or something like that some something called like well slp i say slp loudmouth exhaust for me i feel like that's like the best sounding sounding exhaust on those cars they sound so good but apart from that that's one of the things too that i feel like the cobra the cobra has and it just you know i feel like out of i don't know maybe I feel like out of um, out of every, don't get me wrong, the 2014 um, GT500 does look good, but for me, honestly, like the front end, the front end is like the best looking part for me. But like the back, I just don't look, I just don't like how the back look. But I feel like with the, you know, the Terminator, just they just have like a different, it just have like a different, you know, vibe to it, pretty much, like a different you know meaning to it like that like i feel like it's one of it's just one of those cars that four uh, four it's just one of the mustangs that four made that i feel like that really stands out out of all the other mustangs that been out that just you know that's just my personal opinion and i'm not like i like i said it's my personal opinion i'm not giving you guys everything i'm not reading it from the books i'm just telling you whatever that's in my head and how i feel and i feel like it's one of the cars man it's it's sad it's sad that you know, it's sad that when I see, you know, when I did a little pull that's now on my wall and I seen, I mean, it's not sad, but, you know, when I did that little pull on my wall, when I seen literally 90% of you guys saying that you going to choose a GT500 over, um, over a 2003 Ford Mustang Cobra, obviously one of the biggest thing, if it wasn't for money wise, I'd say, obviously the GT500 is like a 60, 50,000 car, obviously it's off the ribs that off the rip, that's a lot of money for that car and which i can understand if that's a reason for you to choose that car you know if you were to get it and then let's say if you want to sell it later on down the road obviously you will get more money for it but i'm just saying like stating my facts i feel like the terminator cobra is one of the cars that a lot of people just it's just underrated and you, you don't see too much i feel since i've been a youtuber for probably like a year and some change i feel like you haven't really i don't really see much channel about the terminator cobra and stuff like that i don't i really don't see that much gt500 yeah i see some but i say i don't know it's, it's a car that a lot of people i feel like it's something that one day when i own that car i'm not never ever going to sell it i'm never going to sell it. it's going to be a car that's going to be a part of my life forever pretty much that's how special it is to me and you know i just wouldn't i just wouldn't i don't know i just wouldn't choose it over any other mustang i mean i just wouldn't like 
choose any other Mustang over the 2003, you know, four Mustang Terminator Cobra. I just feel like overall they just look. It looks good. The only thing about the only thing about it is the um the only thing I say if I could change anything I say maybe if they could have did a little bit better design with like the um I say like the um like I say pretty much like the steering wheel and the radio pretty much those are two basic basic things if you're driving a car you really don't care too much about the you know the radio and stuff like that but the steering wheel obviously you probably will a little bit but it's not really like a huge it's not really like a big big difference but yeah that's one of the things I, I just feel like it's most people you know a, a lot of people don't really nowadays I feel like a lot of people really nowadays don't really have that respect or value for that um for the four Mustang Terminator Cobra like that and I see a lot of people trying to sell them man it's just it just when I see it, it's like it breaks it breaks my heart man to see like damn that's such a I, like iconic car man it's like it's it's like a it's like one of them cars that you know you got to put that in the hall of fame if you if you know you know like football wise and stuff like that but it's like one of them cars that got to be up there like with a corvette you know i respect it so much like you can make and then one of the biggest things too you can make so much power from a car like that just for me you was like you don't even got to do too much to it like you can get you could pretty much do an easy simple mods like intakes you know changing up like changing up some stuff on there that really wouldn't be like a crazy amount of money spending and you can easily make like 500 500 wheel horsepower um terminator cobra that you could probably daily every day or something like that and it's 500 is a lot of power some people might think that oh that's not even that much i mean nowadays it might not seem like that much but when you behind the wheel when you feel it when you feel it like you could tell it's a it's it's for me honestly it's a good amount of power if i you know if i were to build one of those cars i wouldn't really want to do anything crazy like uh anything past 700 for me is too much even seven even over 600 wheel horsepower is a lot of power but i feel like 700 that's like my that's like my max i'll ever go if i'm if i'm building one of those cars because i want to be able to have fun with it and obviously one of the things i want to be able to do with it if i do get one you know sometimes that sometimes down the road i want to be able to daily it i want to be able to um maybe once in a while go to a track or something like that and do some pulls on it and stuff like that but I wouldn't just want to do like a crazy 1,000 horsepower, you know, Terminator Cobra, which I've seen some of them on YouTube. But it's like you wouldn't really like, you wouldn't really enjoy it. Like, I feel like you wouldn't really enjoy driving something like that with that much power because it's like one, you can't really drive it too much because you got to worry about. You probably gonna have to worry about some things on there breaking and. You know, I feel like for anything with like maybe a 700 horsepower, you probably could daily that and it would probably be fine. But I, I don't know. You know, I'm not no expert, but I just want to say that's just me with me. Like with me speaking, I feel like the Terminator Cobra, believe it or not, is one of them Mustangs that a lot of people sleep on. And a lot of people sleep on it. Like it's a car that it's not it doesn't all over it looks good it looks good all over pretty much the inside and outside even underneath even underneath the hood like i'm talking that thing look good like you could tell it's a muscle car from you even seeing it before you even started up or whatever that's not if you if you was a person who wasn't who really ain't know much about cars just by you seeing how ford design it like you'll be able to tell like damn that's a that's a nice muscle car man like but Man, it's definitely one of them cars that's definitely stepped on. I definitely, I died like I definitely vouch for that. It's one of them cars that stepped on, man. But you guys gonna see real soon, man. I'm going, I'm gonna be getting my next, my next toy. I'm gonna be getting this soon, but you guys gonna see though, man. My next toy gonna be on this on the channel. You guys gonna see it's gonna be something completely, something completely different. Though we'll see, we'll see. Time gonna tell. We'll see about that.